Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean if you haven't been here before and today I'm finally filming a makeup video that you guys have requested me to do many, many times. I did this a lot in the summer, um, but it is, I'll get into it, it is something you can use all year round and I will talk about that in a second. But I posted this picture on my Instagram and that's what we're going to be doing today, asking if you guys wanted a tutorial on it and you guys all said yes, 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 yes. And then I've also had so many story slide ups or swipe ups from you guys asking me to do this look because I literally wore it all summer long. This exact look is definitely more to do in the summertime. It's basically like my fullest, most flawless foundation routine with absolutely nothing on my eyes and some lip color. Um, with that look, I really like doing that like brighter orangey red lip color, but you can literally do anything. Or I would just do like a really pretty gloss. So basically this is like my foundation routine and then you just don't do anything on your eyes. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Um, so I'm gonna show you that and I'm gonna show you all the products I've been recently loving and just kind of share some of my tips and tricks with my foundation routine. Um, but I really love this foundation routine because I feel like my makeup just lasts for so long and you look so fresh and awake with not having anything on your eyes. I will say I wouldn't fully recommend this to everyone. I do have pretty large eyes and they are dark brown. Um, I think this is harder for people with smaller eyes because for you guys you want your eyes to seem bigger. Um, that's why eyeshadow and mascara and false lashes can really amp those things up. Um, but I do like having this face for just like a fresh face even though it is full glam makeup if that makes any sense. Then after this, I'm going to film like a full fall makeup tutorial with like full eyeshadow, full lips, full very, very fall, starting from the foundation I already had on. I'll pop the picture on the screen what I come up with. I haven't done it yet, so you guys are seeing a picture that I haven't even seen yet right now. Um, and I'm gonna film that and that will be up Friday. So if you guys wanna see more of like a full glam fall look, wait till Friday, that will be up then. But for now, we're gonna stick to this simple but in-depth foundation makeup look. Okay, so first I want to mention that one of the most important parts of this foundation routine is your skincare and the steps you do before this. I still get questions to this day on my skincare because if you guys watched, honestly, go back, stop this video right now, go back, watch one of my vlogmases from last year, and you will see how terrible my skin is. I almost never wore makeup in my vlogmases, so you can see literally how my skin looked right in front of you. Um, I wasn't scared to show it, but it was so broken out. It was so bumpy and textured and cystic acne everywhere. Um, and now my skin is pretty much clear. The only breakouts I get are hormonal, so that's just something you can't really stop. But I'm rambling a little bit. If you guys want to know my skincare routine, I have a video. I still get messages asking what my skincare routine is and how I keep my skin clear, but I have a video on my channel and I still use all those products, that same exact process to this day. I've been doing it since Christmas and it is my holy grail. And sometimes when I stop using those products, I instantly know that I'm breaking out again. And also I have stopped drinking milk and dairy with my coffee. I use almond milk now. I still eat cheese, all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, I stay away from dairy because I do know that breaks me out really bad on my cheeks. Um, so I'll put that video up here and I'll also link it down below for you guys if you want to see that because having prepped skin before a flawless foundation routine is so, so, so important. And also just in your normal life, it's so important to have healthy, clear skin. So... Now let's jump into the video. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I like to do, I already have some on, but I'm going to apply more, is just some chapstick. This is the Blistex Deep Renewal Anti-Aging Treatment. To be honest, I don't really love this stuff. I really love the Fresh Treatment. Um, I'll pop it on the screen. That's my favorite, but I don't have it with me. It's also kind of expensive. And then we are going to go straight into a hydrating primer. I do already have my moisturizer on from this morning, but obviously that was a few hours ago. So now we're going to go in with the Two Over Hangover, Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This is a very hydrating, nourishing, creamy, milky primer. It smells like coconuts. It smells super good. I also love the setting spray that goes along with this. I think I'm like almost out. Come on. Please work. What if I cut the bottom? Do I have scissors? 
Okay, we'll forget that because I'm not using it, but I do really love that one. So if you guys have that at home or you're looking for a hydrating primer, totally recommend that. And I recommend that to oily skin because it's not like a glowy primer. It's just very hydrating. Um, and I think people with oily skin are afraid to use hydrating primers, but it's very important to keep your skin hydrated no matter if you're oily or dry. So instead, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Hydrating Primer. I'm pretty sure they repackaged all of these primers. I really love the pore filling one. Um, to be honest, I don't love the hydrating one from them, but it is hydrating. It works. So put that in my hands and rub this all over my face. I'm working out of my makeup bag because recently I've just been always bringing my makeup everywhere with me and normally I have my makeup like in my vanity. So... This is a struggle. I hate working out of a makeup bag. Okay, so I'm going to be double priming. I'm going to use the Winky Lux Whipped Cream Primer. I believe I've used this in a video before. You can see I've already used quite a bit, like half the jar. Um, so this is just really good for smoothing your skin, filling in those pores, and just making your foundation go on like flawless. So just take a little bit of it. It's the weirdest consistency. You guys just have to try it for yourselves. Um, you can get it on winkylux.com. And I think, I know Ulta carries some Winky Lux, but it's like certain products. I bought this when I was at Lollapalooza in Chicago at some store. So I'm just putting that in my problem areas, mostly right here on my cheeks, bringing it up and then by my nose or on my mouth and in between my brows up here. Basically your whole face. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going in with one of my holy grails. I need to go buy more of this and make sure I have the right shade. Because I feel like I always am buying like wrong shades depending on my tan, if I'm pale, blah, 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 blah. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This stuff is so full coverage, but thin. And like a matte finish, but not too matte. I don't know how to explain it. I just think it's a really great all day long wear foundation that goes on super easy it's beautiful and yeah that's what we're gonna use i'm gonna mix in a little bit of my dior backstage foundation just because of the color this is a little bit darker and warmer because i do have fake tan on right now um this one's really pretty as well this one's more of like a watery base thinner um foundation still very full coverage but i just like this for the more like full full beautiful flawless finish but we're gonna do two pumps of this and some of the dior oh, that always happens it kind of leaks out add it in there as well you can see the dior is much darker and dot it on my face which also i've learned recently is when i dot my foundation on my face i definitely get a more flawless full coverage look instead of going right in with a brush or sponge because i feel like it just automatically picks up all the product and soaks it into my brush or sponge well, this applies it directly to the skin. Sorry, by the way, I didn't really do my hair today. Okay, so I'm going in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I have been using this literally forever. So I'm gonna blend this out just by stamping this into my skin. And I have also learned with my foundation routine, even when I think my foundation's blended out, I still keep pressing, pressing into my skin and really spend time working your foundation into your skin so it's not just sitting on top and it's really one with your skin if that makes sense i apply it everywhere i apply it on my eyelids i try and stay away from my brows because otherwise they just get a little goopy and gross and i try and stay off my lips i know some people like applying foundation on their lips but i try and stay away from that but I do apply it fully on my eyelids. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape, tried and true. Such a great concealer. You guys know I also love the Catrice one, but for this full coverage, more like flawless, I like the thicker consistency of Tarte. So this is the shade Light Sand. I'm going to be putting this under my eyes. I like a lot of concealer, by the way. Under my eyes, Cupid's bow, chin and up here and I also like some on my eyelids to make sure they are perfectly clean since we won't be putting anything on top of them and a trick I learned from Nikki Tutorials the god of YouTube makeup tutorials she says that you apply your concealer and then the longer you wait and let it sit the thicker and more full coverage it will be so I've been doing that lately I just kind of wait 
like a few seconds as I'm talking to you guys instead of applying and blending out right away because I do feel like it kind of holds where you placed it and it's not so creamy and goes everywhere if that makes any sense. So that was about like, I don't know, 10 seconds or so which might not seem like a big deal to you guys but I have seen a difference. So same thing, I just blend this concealer out and I use the pointed side of my beauty sponge. I'm gonna try and just stamp this in the places where I really applied it and then bring it upward. You wanna bring that concealer upward to pull your eyes up and don't bring it too far anywhere else since it is such a light shade compared to your foundation. Okay, so next, you guys are gonna be so shook the fact that I'm talking about this product because if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I never really loved this product. Just wasn't one of my favorites, wasn't my go-to like everyone else's, but Laura Mercier sent me this PR package here. And no, this is not sponsored whatsoever. They just sent it to me and I tried it because it was a fresh bottle of what I'm about to show you. Mario starts talking when you open it. Like, how crazy is that? Hey guys, Mario here. I am so excited to show you hey. guys. Hey. I've actually had these sitting in my room in this package. I haven't opened these yet for like a month or so, um, but they also sent me like a second travel size one and I've been using the travel ones that are in my makeup bag right now just cause they're like smaller, but I wanna open the big boys cause we're doing this video. So basically, Laura Mercier, you guys know they are known for their translucent setting powder just to set under your eyes, set your face. They also have like a secret brightening powder for your under eyes. Um, so you sent this and this is one of those powders I just never loved like everyone else. I thought it gave me a flashback. Um, I felt like it made my under eyes more dark and I just, I didn't love it. So they sent one of those, but they came out with this new powder and it's called the Translucent Powder Glow. So this is basically like a finishing powder that has a glow to it and it is so freaking pretty. When I first saw the powder, because I'll show you when you open it, I was like, I don't want to put that on my face. Like that looks really scary. That looks like I'm just going to apply highlighter all over my face. But I saw Desi Perkins use it in a video and I literally had this sitting in my room and I was like, oh my god, that's beautiful. It literally looks like she just applied like dewy skin mist on her face, but it's a powder. So I'm like going all over the place. So basically once I used this, because they sent me one of these, I tried it again and I actually really, really like it. And I think that's why my skin looks so smooth and stays on really long. This is a very long lasting powder. Um, I think I've learned though, you only need a tiny bit of this. I, I feel like before when I was baking with it and doing that whole trend, I didn't love it because I was just going way too overboard. It was very drying for me. Um, but now that I use my sponge and I just use a tiny bit to sit under my eyes, I really, really like it. So that's what we're going to do. And I always tap it into the cap and I like to go over my concealer one more time. Make sure that we're not setting creases that may have come up while I was talking to you guys for way too long. And then stamp my sponge right in there, not too much, and set the under eye. And I'm not baking, I'm just setting and forgetting. And I like to apply it to my smile lines, down on my chin, anywhere I get more oily. And I also think I really like this powder only when I use it with the glow powder because then my face isn't too flat and matte because that's something I didn't really like about this. Um, but now that you apply the glow powder on top, which you'll see in a second, I have fallen in love. I like to take the excess on a powder brush just to set the rest of my face so there's not certain parts of my face that are tacky and then some that are set. In a fluffy brush like this, like I said, just getting the excess product and just powdering the rest of my face. So now we are going to go into the glow powder and they actually sent a brush with this which I've never used before. It's like this curved really really pretty brush and I've been using just like an angled brush this one um, with the travel size that I have and it works really well but this is basically like a new improved brush brush like this. So we're going to open the glow powder, same packaging, it just has more of a shiny metallic cap which I think is really cute. And open this up. So they do sell the travel size they sent me. It's like a little travel kit and it comes with the secret um, brightening powder for under your eyes, the translucent setting powder which we just used, and the glow powder and they're all like mini versions like this and it's in a little box. And also comes with a mini um, powder puff. So if you guys want to just like test this stuff out, I would recommend purchasing that. I'll try and link that little set down below because it's probably half the price of one of these big ones. So same thing, I'm going to tap some of the glow powder into the cap. 
basically just looks like normal powder in person you can kind of see the reflection more so you only need the tiniest bit of this like this is way too much so I'm gonna tap my brush in there get a little bit on my brush and then I'm gonna tap it off and so what I like to do is it literally hugs your cheekbone that's why it's shaped like that and I just swipe it across can you see how it just added that very light pretty pretty glow it's so perfect for when you over powder and swipe. like it's not highlighter but it just gives you like healthy glow I also apply a little down my nose on my chin and believe it or not on my forehead so now my skin is glowing but it's not like makeup glow it looks like my skin it's just so pretty. I love this stuff. For contour, I actually haven't used this palette in a while, but this is one of my favorites. I use this like all summer long. And this is the Park Ave Princess Tarte like, Contour Palette. Let's take my contour brush. This is hands down one of the best brushes I have found this summer. This is the Morphe M530. And this is just so perfect, small and fluffy for contouring and bronzing. So I'm going to take the first two shades. And then same two colors. And I'm going to apply this up by my temples. Into my hairline. I'm on the side of my nose. I don't do crazy nose contouring. I'm more just like adding color to it on the sides. And then under my lip a little. And then jawline. And then I like to go in with a more warmer, just hit my head, warmer shade. This is called Angle. And it just has a little more warmth to it. And I like to apply this over top just very lightly, more as a bronzing shade. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, now for blush. I always hop around with blushes. I just have so many favorites that I just kind of pick and choose depending on the day. We are going to go in with a oldie but a goodie. I used this in one of my last makeup videos as well, and you guys said that I didn't link the shade. So I used the shade Mellow Wine. This is the Wet n Wild blush. This is like super old packaging. It's repackaged, so it looks a little different. I'll link it down below. I know they still have this exact shade. But it's just the prettiest, like, plummy, dark, pink, rosy shade. And it's matte, blends beautifully. I've literally had this probably since middle school. And that's gross. It's probably completely expired. And I shouldn't be using this, but I am. So, I use this little blush brush. Just a fluffy, smaller brush. Tap into there. Tap off excess. And apply it on my cheeks. I like to smile. And blend it into my contour. I love blush on the nose and the chin. So now for highlighting, we can actually highlight the face. Even though I do have that really pretty overall glow, um, I still like to highlight the main portions of my face with a more intense real highlighter. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Soft and Gentle. I haven't used this in so long. I found it in my mom's room, so she stole it from me. But I have it back now. Just rolling my brush in there. This is the Morphe M510. And applying it to my cheekbones, my cheekbones, top of my cheekbones, and then on my nose, down my nose, my cupid bow. I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This stuff is incredible, great setting, and um, long-lasting makeup spray. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see my eyes. So you can see my concealer is pretty creased in my eyelids because I didn't really set those down. So I'm going to pat out those creases. Large fluff brush from Sigma. This is the E50. Take one of the highlighting shades from here um, just to set down my eyelids and add like just a base color. It's like a yellowy, creamy color. And this also, applying like a lighter shade compared to your face will open your eyes and just make them seem bigger. I apply all the way in the inner corner, all the way up to the brow. Just really fan this out. Now for eyebrows. 
Going in with what I always go in with, my brow definer from Anastasia. Now that I have my darker hair, I like to use the thicker brow pencil. I used to use the Brow Wiz, and then I set it with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So, ready? Brows are done. Let's zoom out. We're gonna go to the lips. So, the star of the show is Lady Danger by MAC. It is just a bright, beautiful orangey red um but the lip liner i used with this is the collab with um Gigi hadid with maybelline she made like a really pretty lipstick and i actually have that one as well and it just kind of matches the um lipstick lady danger but i really like the finish of lady danger more than the Gigi hadid one i will try and find this one i feel like that's totally gone now um if not i'll find another similar one because really this is just to match the lipstick this is really what you need it's so creamy like this is a really really creamy lip liner i did overline my lips the tiniest amount if you guys want a video on how i do that um, just comment down below and I can let you know but this is the completed look so mm, 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 mm. but I think the biggest thing about this look is you want to have some pretty bold brows because that will kind of take place for your eyes not being done and like I said I want you guys to try it if you guys try this please tag me on Instagram I honestly think this will look better with larger eyes if you guys have smaller eyes try it I'd love to see it on you guys because it probably looks just as beautiful. Um, but yeah, I love this look. I think it is so just like fresh and it's almost like she's not wearing any makeup, but obviously I'm wearing a ton of makeup. Um, and I love this lip color with this just because it's so simplistic and then the lips just pop. And it's still pretty wearable, although it is like a bright orange. And yeah, I just, ooh, I love it. And you can also, like I said, just do a simple gloss with this. You can do like a dark mauve nude with this. You can do black lipstick with this. You can do whatever you want. You guys can just apply like simple mascara. I did that in the summer a lot when I felt like I wanted something more on my eyes when I wasn't feeling this because I know this is just like not, not everyone's vibe. So I would just curl my lashes, do a simple coat of mascara on the top and bottom and boom then you have just another look on top of this but if anything you guys can learn my full foundation routine because this is basically what I do and then do a crazy eye look on top and normally I will do my eyes first and then my face but yeah so yeah I think that completes this video thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned something um let me know down below what other looks you want me to do I'm literally waiting for my dose of colors Katie and Desi collection right now I ordered the palette and few other things from them so that should be coming to my mail let me know if you guys want to see a review or a tutorial using that palette I really want to use the blue in there and dirty money that like green color that looks so pretty so I will probably be doing a video with that soon so that's enough rambling from me I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will link all the products I use down below and if you guys have not hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button I'm almost at 100k we are almost at 100k subscribers that's incredible I'm so friggin excited and I'll just tell you something very special is coming when I hit 100k so if you guys hit that button I'd love to have you guys and you guys can also hit that little bell button that will notify you every time I upload although I try upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday that is my goal doesn't always happen um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>